Hello everyone, welcome back to Civil Learning Online. And today in this video, I am going to discuss about Laplace transformation and later I will discuss about inverse Laplace transformation. So first of all, as this is first lecture on Laplace transformation and if you are beginning or trying to start learning Laplace transformation, then this video is going to be very helpful to you guys because this is uh, lecture one and from this lecture, I will first discuss about some basic formulas related to Laplace transformation and we will we will also see the application of those formula uh, in some numerical examples and uh, as we proceed we will first discuss formula and then we will see the some examples related to that uh, those formulas and if you guys feel any kind of difficulties related to this chapter then you can directly mail me uh, and the email ID is provided in the description so without any further delay let's get started the first formula that we will uh, come to see in laplace transformation is going to be that laplace transformation of one l represents laplace transformation and guys in the later lectures we will also discuss about what is lab definition of laplace transformation and we will also so see the numerical based upon that for uh, definition uh, but here this is basic and lecture one so i would like to take you uh, through the basic steps first so the laplace transformation of one is going to be one upon s similarly laplace transformation of t to the power n is going to be n factorial upon s to the power n plus 1 similarly laplace transformation of laplace transformation of e to the power minus a t is going to be 1 by s plus a also laplace transformation of e to the power a t will be 1 by s minus a so again laplace now we will discuss about laplace transformation of sub trigonometric functions that is laplace transformation of sine a t will be a upon s square plus a square also laplace transformation of cos a t will be s upon s square plus a square now laplace transformation of some of some hyperbolic trigonometric functions so laplace transformation of sine hyperbolic a t will be a upon s square minus a square and laplace transformation of cos hyperbolic a t will be s upon s square plus a square so these are some basic formulas which will uh, which we will face while solving numericals based upon the laplace transformation and in exam you could be asked with in two marks uh, of some numerical examples which I am going to show you after like we have finished the formula now let's see some example so we I have picked out some questions pro problems that are question number one is t square plus a t plus b so our first question is t we are asked to find the laplace transformation of t square plus a t plus b so i am going to write here solution and laplace transformation of t square plus a t plus b so what we will do here we will simply split this uh, this is our for this whole will be considered as one expression and this single expression has three terms this is one term second and third term this plus and minus signs uh, distinct separates uh, terms in a, an expression so here we have three terms so we will uh, write down write them separately so we will have here laplace transformation of t square 
plus Laplace transformation of AT plus B times Laplace transformation of Laplace transformation of 1 okay it is because here in, in Laplace transformation we will see only two variables when we are doing Laplace transformation we have to convert T and on uh, we will see variable T and on doing Laplace transformation operation on that variable it will get converted into S similarly while doing inverse Laplace transformation we will uh, we will see in uh, variable S and on doing inverse Laplace transformation operation on that variable it will get converted into T so we have here Laplace transformation of T square so here we have the formula Laplace transformation of t to the power n equals to n factorial upon s to the power n plus 1 so we will use this formula here here in place of n we have 2 so we will write here 2 factorial upon s to the power and in place of n we have 2 so 2 plus 1 is 3 okay plus this a a is will be considered as constant here so we will simply uh, bring this a out of this uh, column so we will have here a times Laplace transformation of T this is actually this is actually a times Laplace transformation of T okay so Laplace again we have Laplace transformation of T T to the power 1 is again 1 factorial so 1 factorial is 1 1 factorial is 1 1 upon T to the s to the power 1 plus 1 1 plus 1 it will be 2 plus b times laplace transformation of 1 is 1 upon s so b times 1 upon s if you ask me to rewrite this so 2 factorial is 2 factorial is 2 factorial means 2 into 1 so 2 factorial is going to be 2 so 2 upon s q plus a upon s square plus b upon s this is our final answer for this problem isn't it simple let's see one more example and that is our question number two so our second question is that I have picked up for you guys is t minus sine hyperbolic 2t again this is our single expression and here we have two terms that is t and minus sine hyperbolic 2t is our second expression so Laplace transformation of t minus sine hyperbolic 2t by according to question so we will need to separate it so laplace transformation of t minus laplace transformation of sine hyperbolic 2t now apply the formula here nothing means t to the power 1 so t to the power 1 formula is n factorial so 1 upon s 2 minus sine hyperbolic 2t formula so we have here sine hyperbolic a t in form in terms in place of a we have 2 so simply equate these two formula and write down the value the formula is a upon s square minus a square so in place of a we have 2 so 2 upon s square minus a square a square is 2 square so 4 so this is our final answer nothing more are you getting the uh, steps what i am saying detecting you in this formula uh, I hope you are getting so let's proceed to question number three and in question number three that is also simple we have e to the power 2t plus 4tq minus 2 sin 3t plus 3 cos 3t here we have one expression and one two three four terms so laplace transformation of e to the power 2t plus 4 times 4 laplace transformation of 4 tq i will separate it in the next step so minus 2 sine 3t plus 3 cos 3t close the bracket now we will rewrite it as laplace transformation of e to the power 2t plus 4 times laplace transformation of
टी क्यू माइनस टू टाइम्स लैपलस ट्रांसफॉर्मेशन ऑफ साइन थ्री टी प्लस थ्री लैपलस ट्रांसफॉर्मेशन ऑफ कॉस थ्री टी क्लोज द ब्रैकेट now i have provided with you with all those formula now you can try it by yourself uh, and i'm uh, dictating you for you guys who have not understood uh, these two formulas or who have understood and uh, you can just simply pause the video and try it by yourself and you can detect the answer because i am going to solve this numerical whole here so we have laplace transformation of e to the power 2t in and we will use this formula i have provided you with the formula that laplace transformation of e to the power at is 1 by s minus a and one thing more guys how to remember the formulas see uh, the formulas uh, are quite similar to one another like we have sin at in in sin at we have a upon s square plus a square in cos we have in cos here we have s yes, means we in uh, uh, numerator we will have s and in denominator we will have s square plus a square these two are similar and in in uh, here in cos we will just simply replace a by s uh, in uh, in the formula which where there is no hyperbolic function similarly here in hyperbolic function numerator are similar to what we have uh, in the formula which is not hyperbolic but the different is difference is here uh, here uh, it is minus sorry for my mistake uh, in hyperbolic we have only simply change, need to change the sign of denominator means uh, in uh, the formula which is simply trigonometric function formula has positive sign in hyperbolic that neg positive sign will get converted due to negative and here uh, in the formula for e to the power minus at we have a minus at means we de in denominator we will put positive sign and if in in power we will have positive sign we will put negative sign in denominator and here uh, in hyperbolic we will have denominator as minus a square so use the formula here we will have here 1 upon s minus a minus a means uh, minus 2 in place of a we have 2 so 2 plus 4 times again tq tq t to the power 3 means 3 factorial 3 factorial is going to be 3 factorial upon uh s to the power 3 plus 1 means 4 minus 2 times sin 3t so we, we now we are going to use this formula trigonometric function formula we have sin 3t sin 3t in place of a we have 3 so in place of a we will put 3 because a is our constant in the formula so we have here 3 upon s square plus a square is 9 plus 3 times cos cos 3t so cos 3t formula formula is s upon s square plus 9 this is our final answer you can uh, leave it up to here also or you can convert the this factorial uh, in the final answer as 1 upon s minus 2 plus 4 times 3 factorial 3 factorial means 3 factorial means 3 into 2 into 1 means 6 So six times four is twenty-four upon s to the power four minus two times three six upon s square plus nine and plus three yes upon s square plus nine. This is our final answer. So. Now after this, uh, after. Uh, watching this lecture you would be able to solve some basic uh, numericals of laplace transformation and as we continue as we will continue with the lecture uh, you will be able to, you will get mastered in the laplace transformation so in the next lecture we will see some more formula and uh, some extra example related to those formula i will proceed in the similar manner first of all i will discuss with the discuss about the, the formula which we will use in the laplace transformation and then we will see some example so that uh, you will never forget and you will fear, you will be able to solve any numerical based on the laplace transformation easily so see you in the next video till then stay safe and take care of yourself